I'm JK and my channel is JK Solutions. This video is about uninterrupted electrical distribution with ATS. ATS meaning automatic transfer switch. Conventionally, when there is a, a changeover from the mains power supply to the generator system of vice versa. There, there is always a blackout that uh, characterizes the period of uh, changing over. It is that blackout during the changeover system that I want to eliminate in this video. I'm going to show how a design can be done and the installation can also be done to eliminate that kind of uh, blackout. You know, even if it is a uh, automatic changeover system, there is always time that, uh, that is taken before the changing over is totally achieved. It is that blackout that uh, conventionally usually characterizes the changeover at the period. So that is what I, I want to eliminate in this video. Please follow me in this video. Meanwhile, please, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, JK Solutions, please do so. Meanwhile, I will use an, uh, an example to illustrate the concept for clear understanding. Please follow me. So, here we go. Example. The power requirement of a particular hotel located where Supply voltage is at 11 kV, 50 is 210 kVA. The questions are, A part, determine the delta star 50 X transformer and generator sizes for the hotel. B part, hence or otherwise, draw uninterrupted electrical power schematic diagram for the hotel. Neglect transformer losses. Yes, the, the transformer losses could be neglected because the total loss, when all of them, all the losses added together, they are minute. Yeah, what we are saying here is that there are places where people cannot afford to have the transient uh, blackout during the changeover period. A place or places like hotels cannot afford to have a blackout at all, and uh, that is why. Uh, this video is going to explain how the blackout can be eliminated. Please continue to follow me. Solving the problems. A part, the transformer size, as given by the question, the transformer is delta star at 50 at uh, frequency. So the total hotel load is 210 kVA. So, the transformer size is 300 kV. 300 kV is uh, uh, higher than 210 kV. And it also takes care of uh, the future incremental load uh, group. So, similarly, the generator size is 250 kV. Some proof generator, 400 volts line to line at uh, 50 hertz. Moving on. Now, B, a solution to B part. In order for us to be able to sketch, I mean, to draw the uh, uninterrupted schematic diagram for the hotel, we need to know certain things. The first thing is that since the, the schematic diagram is going to be uninterrupted, then we have to introduce UPS on an interrupted power supply unit here. So the size of that one is also equal to 250 kVA. All right, now let's calculate the, uh, the load current for star connection I phase is equal, is equal to I9. So as, we, as I mentioned it in one of my previous videos. So the load I phase 
is equal to the dot I line, which is equal to 210,000 VA divided by rho 3 times 400 volt, and that is equal to 303 ampere triple phase with neutral. It doesn't mean that the neutral current is 303, as I always uh, mention it. So it only indicates that neutral is part of the system. We are having uh, four wire system, three phase four wire system. So, and from here we can determine the main MCCB to be 320 triple phase with neutral. So, since this is the next available uh, MCCB, that is model case circuit breaker. So, the UPS size is 250 kVA. It has to be slightly greater than the load requirements or the power requirements rather so we move on now coming to the schematic diagram as i said in order to eradicate the or to eliminate the blackout during the changeover period whether whether manual or automatic in order to eradicate the blackout we need to introduce the UPS here. So let's start from the incoming section from the mains. This is the main. Generally, we should have we have uh, three parts: the mains part or the main side, the generator side, and the load side. So we start from the main uh, side. So here we have the transformer, uh, the transformer, 11 kV. The primary winding being uh, connected in the delta. Then we have star here for the secondary winding. So from here, we go to the energy meter. So from the energy meter, we come to the CM. CM here means contactor for the mains supply. So when we, in order to have an automatic transfer switching system, it is easier to use a contactor or we can use a motorized uh, circuit breaker. But in this case, I'm choosing to use a contactor. So the contactor current rating is 350 amp triple phase with neutral. Or it is four pole, four pole contactor. All right. Then we have this uh, instead of the conventional. Uh, MCCBs, we are having two contactors, one from the generator system and the other one from the main. So they are now linked like this. And it is this link that is called the ATS, automatic transfer switch. When this contactor is energized, this one is the energized. When this one is energized, this one is the energized. The two of them cannot be energized at the same time. All right. So we move on. So the mains delivers power to this uh, common bus section, and from here, we the power enters the UPS. Okay, the U, U, the uninterrupted power supply unit receives power. So from here, it goes to into this uh, panel, which is the load uh, the load panel. It's L L L L V. Low voltage panel, it's MCCB panel anyway. That is the meaning of uh, P, uh, P means panel. So we now go to the generator side. We have generator one, generator two. Because in the situation where uh, one generator is faulty, you, you, you need the other one, the other, the other one should be in place. That's why two generators are required. So, and then from the ATS panel, we have uh, this signal line, or a, a, a combination of signal lines coming here with a changeover, I mean, with a just changeover switch here as to whether you want to select a generator two, this is generator panel 2, this is generator panel 1. So you select one at a time. So
So now, from here, we have the mechanical interlock here. The two generators are not working at the same time. One is on duty, the other one is on standby. Alright? So from here, we go to the contactor for the generator. So, and they are linked together. Making use of this uh, ATS. So, when this one is energized, this one is the energized. And the two of them should not be energized at the same time. This one energized, this one is the energized. So, if this one is energized, this one is the energized. So, from here, let's say yeah, the generator, if the mains, if there is failure, the mains failure, so the generator output uh, continues to be here. From here, if you still come and enter the UPS, from the UPS to the load panel. So, actually, the flow of power for the two sides is this is like this from here through the meter so that is the means through this uh, contactor through this bus section to the ups to this circuit breaker and to this uh, load bus section so even for the generator also the output of the generator comes here from here it uh, goes into the contactor for the generator and the power is delivered to this uh, common bus section. From here, it goes through the UPS as well because normally this circuit breaker here is left open because it is serving a different uh, purpose. So this one is open. The interlock is... Uh, adjusted in such that or is operated in such that it's only this uh, circuit breaker that closes this one opens this one also opens we are these two uh, circuit breakers become functional is when the ups has problem if the ups is faulty instead of removing it there's no uh, you, there's no room for blackout so, instead of remove, uh, in order to create them for its remover, so this one will be closed, this one will also be closed, this will open, and this one will open so that the UPS can be removed. So, and the power flows from the generator to this place to the load. Alright? And um, to the generator, even even the assuming is the main, even if it's on the mains also, and the UPS is faulty, the mains delivers power to this uh, common bus section. So from here, the UPS is bypassed through this circuit breaker and this circuit breaker, and that is the function of these two circuit breaker. That's why uh, I call this one. Uh, UPS bypass so that is what is doing there so we now have the loads the magnitudes of the load will determine the sizes of this circuit breaker we can have more than three outgoings so for instance this each of them could be going to sub distribution panels or to distribution board as the situation may require and uh, that is the end of the solution to the B part. So finally, please do subscribe to my JK Solutions channel. Thanks for watching.